Today we're soft drinking and hard thinking. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Pop, soda, fizzy tickle tonic. No matter what you call it, chances are the place you're from has a signature soft drink. And whether it's mm -hmm. herbaceous, fruititious, or sugaraceous, they're most likely all delicious. But the question is, can we tell where a soda comes from just by tasting it? It's time for Where in the World Do These International Sodas Come From? Okay, so we're gonna be tasting sodas from around the world. Now, some of these sodas span borders as far as who drinks them, but we are gonna mm -hmm. be guessing what country they are manufactured in, as well as enjoyed in, and we'll be making our guesses by gently tossing these darts at the map over there. Mm -hmm. Chase, just, just chill out, man. Just chill out. Chase is our resident cartographer. He He's gonna no measure to the distance out. of each dart from the correct answer. As always, whoever has the shortest total distance at the end of the game wins, and then the loser has to drink an egg cream soda made with actual raw eggs in GMM more. And now, Link, you actually won last time, which is unusual <laughs> for this game. <laughs> so we are re-leveling the playing field. Okay. There is no advantage okay. other than the person in the last round who is losing at that time gets our famous four dart throw, yeah. which we call the right fart, here. but because we're dealing with soda, we're gonna call it a burp. Okay, Red, since you're taller on one leg than I am on two, you can go first. Got it, that makes sense to me. <laughs> now, you, before you throw, you should probably taste. Oh, I don't need to taste. Oh, yeah, the beverage. So that should be part of this. Um, it's medicinal in a non-Dr. Pepperish way. I don't like Dr. Pepper, so. Th this is not. I'm saying I also don't like this, this but for a different reason. Yeah, and I don't like this as well. Uh, what, it's. Don't is insult it, Dr. Pepper, man. Is it licorice? A lot, what I've noticed is that weird soda flavors don't always translate Things you might like, like I like bacon, I don't like bacon soda. But in, this, but in the country you're throwing this at, it's not a weird soda. This is a normal soda. It's enjoyed and manufactured there. Golly, oh man, I, I don't even have a, I have no point of reference for this. It feels like I should move all the way to the other side of the world. I'm like from Italy to the east. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna aim at Iran. Okay. The aftertaste is odd, isn't it? Okay. Right. You're pretty close to Iran, I just hope you're Iran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got nothing either on this one. It's, so I'm just, I'm going for the middle of the board. But I don't think this is from Italy. Just to keep it close, going for Iran. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, this is Kinoto, the bitter herbal soda made from the fruit of the myrtle-leaved orange tree. That fruit also acts as a flavoring agent for many Amari liqueurs, including Campari, and overall as an incredibly popular flavor in Italy. Italy! Italy. Oh, it wow. is an Italian okay. Pellegrino flavor. Hmm. Well, dang it. I was good. I should have gone with my first instinct to hedge my bets. Dang it. I'm falling behind. Okay. Rhett, you had 17, and Link, you had 26. Ooh, 17's mm. less than 26. <laughs> All right, here's a, a clearish one. Oh, refreshing. Has a ginger ale smell to it. Oh, Sm ginger ale smell. It's really strong. I think it is ginger. It's a, it could be the strongest ginger ale I've ever tasted. Where do they enjoy ginger? Mm. Where does the ginger grow tall and go down strong? Well, ginger's a root, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it grows tall at all. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. So but you, I but you know what? I you really assume, gave me you helped me out there. But I do assume that there is a plant that is associated with it. Yeah, man. The ginger plant could grow tall. The only thing I associate ginger with is tummy sickness. Yeah, gastrointestinal help. And that's global. Yeah, everybody needs that. I don't know where, where do they need it the most? I'm gonna throw this thing. I, I'm feeling Estonia. I'm always feeling Estonia. But I think that's it's too cold for stuff to grow in the ground. I think we gotta be more man. I, I'm logic. I'm actually feeling like this is India. They use ginger, right? Yeah. Uh, ginger is pretty ubiquitous. You could close your eyes and throw it at the map. I'm not. Oh, well, man. I'm maybe, <laughs> maybe in northern Russia. I've lost that. my touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, where do you where, where are you guessing? You can you can speak freely now that I've thrown the dart at absolutely nothing that's relevant to the board. Uh, again, ginger is enjoyed 
the world over. I most associate it with sushi though, because it is like the palate cleanser when you're eating sushi, which is in Japan. Japan really commits you to the right side of the map. Go for it. You're pretty close to Japan as well, so right. it's kind of a low risk throw to go for Japan, because if it's right, it's right, and if it's wrong, we're both pretty wrong. So I'm gonna aim at Korea and hope I get a little to the west of Japan. Oh, or south. Okay, guys, this is ginger beer. And while many ginger beers from the US and UK use this country in their branding, DG ginger beer, which you just drank, is genuinely, genuinely, from the country that has been brewing the stuff since the 1500s. It's ja Jamaica. Jamaica. Jamaica may have a wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, man. Uh, yeah, but you're a little, bit closer. a little closer. Yeah, so. I think you may have made up your uh, your distance there. Yeah, Rhett, you had 72, and Link, you had 61. Oh yeah, I'm catching up on you. Wow. It's Ecto Cooler. <laughs> I hope it is, man. Oh, whoa! Bring it's, it back, High C. This has a very melony. Melony. Yeah. You're watching. <laughs> uh, this makes me think of yes. Melanie. It smells just like you, Melanie. Wow, this is great, <laughs> y'all. This is some good stuff. Ooh. Really? It's like carbonated, super sugary melon. What's the green melon called? The green melon is called honeydew. honeydew. Yes. <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> Figuring out melons again. All right, right, you go first. Uh Okay, I know that melon flavored things are big in the eastern part of the world. So again, I'm thinking this is Japan, Malaysia maybe. I don't know, something about Malaysia is calling to me. Malaysia, Melanie. Melon. Melanie in Malaysia, if you're watching right now, this dart is for you. Oh, Japan! Man, Wait, I'm high and right today. All right, right, you're wrong. This is... Golly. This is straight out of Mexico. Oh, okay. This is a Mexican Bev. Mexican Bev. Now I'm taking a big Mexican risk. Mexican Bev, if you're watching. <laughs> Link's dart. It's for you. It's for you. <laughs> this is a big risk because Mexican I'm, Bev I'm aiming at the opposite Malaysian end of Melanie. the map. Wow. See, because I think it's Mexico, I need to aim at the middle of the board because you're so far off. I need to be smart about this. Well, I don't know. If you could secure a victory if it is Mexico. It'd be very difficult, even with a fart, to come back. Matter of fact, because you're so far right, I'm gonna go there. But for the record, what, I think the answer what, is Mexico. Why do you keep? Why do you keep? I just backing wanna, off, man. But you gotta I have a killer instinct. I can't. As a person who's won this game like nine out of ten times, you gotta have a killer instinct. Fine, I'll yeah. no, 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 that doesn't count. Okay. That was called Melon Creamy Soda, made with real evaporated skim milk and manufactured in a place with particular affinity for fruity sodas. From lychee to plum to banana to melon, that's Japan. <laughs> oh, okay, see? I don't need to have a killer instinct because I'm, I was really wrong. Yeah, so you were, my soul. And you were so lucky. My soul got pulled to Japan. And you lucky duck. I'm sorry, man. Did I actually hit the country? No, Rhett, you had two, and Link, you had four. That is a that is a game changer. Nobody's perfect, except Mexican Beverly. <laughs> Looks to be milk. Oh. Ah. Oh. Smell nasty. I don't. Ah. Oh. Woo. Oh, you know what? It's a fermented beverage. I have intuition into this. Um. <laughs> now here's the thing. It tastes like llama milk. We we went to a. There's like taco places here that like if you go into the fridge you can get these things that look like milk and they they're fermented like fermented um, fizzy yogurt drinks in like taco shops. There's which one makes right, me right, think right down the street. Mexico. But for some reason I'm also my soul is being pulled to Ghana. <laughs> My soul is pulled to Ghana. That should be like the tourism campaign for Ghana. Or somewhere in Split the middle the of the sea. Splitting the difference. Now Link, interestingly, you did pick up on the fact that we have enjoyed this beverage at a taco shop, but that's only because we're in the melting pot of Los Angeles. This is a Middle Eastern drink. Is it? Yes. This is almost assuredly from Iran. Iran or, or Iran. Iran? You gotta admit. Iran, it. I say it like Bush. <laughs> 
<laughs> and you say Bush like who? Cheney. <laughs> Dated political references. Go for it. Okay. I think it's Iran. Or India! You, you hit the bullseye on India. Okay, guys. Here's the thing. You were both wrong because I was with you when we had that beverage, and it was next to a taco place in a Middle Eastern place. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is called Duch, a salty carbonated yogurt drink that was invented over 1,000 years ago in ancient Persia and that you still might drink in modern Iran. Yes. Dang it, Rhett. <laughs> so, I, so say it, I, I was wrong, but I was also yeah, I mean, you right. were right on the yeah. board, but like, it, yeah, you were wrong in real life, so I don't Mint. I Yogurt always en soda. enjoyed it. <laughs> Rhett, you had seven. Link, you had twenty-eight. Oh, that's more. Another dark one. Oh. Oh it wow. It tastes like something you would marinate meat in. You know what? It's not bad though. Once you get used it to it. It smells like taco sauce. Yes, it does. <laughs> it smells like. Taco sauce, uh, like taco seasoning. Remember that time we were in a Middle Eastern restaurant eating tacos? <laughs> yeah. I think this is Iran too, go for it. It's a specific pepper that is in there that I've also smelled in Indian food. But my first instinct was taco sauce. I'm leaning towards Mexico or Peru, but I feel like it could be India. I think, I think you need to have that killer instinct for, <laughs> for India. Okay, Mexico it is. I, I'm still within striking distance if you're right about India. And if I had killer instincts, I would go with India. But I, it tastes like a taco. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, such a weak thrower. You're closer to Darter. The, the compass. This is Hajuri Kashmira, a huh. carbonated beverage suggested as a digestive drink flavored with Jira masala, an India. extremely common cumin-based spice mix you found gone with it. in India. Dang. Dude, if you had just listened to me and had the killer instinct, you would have beat me, man! <sighs> Brett, you had 59. Link, you had 63. Ooh, you're now down by 35 centimeters. I can still do this. That is a bright yellow. Looks like Gatorade. It smells like bubble gum. Yeah, it does, and it, it's very sweet. And uh, a bit refreshing. I've got my four darts here, my fart, which we're calling a burp for the soda. Link, we'll let you go second, so you can have every, every advantage. advantage. Okay. Four darts. I'll and take also, it. Uh, okay. It's, it's not an overtly distinct flavor, so to I me, feel the, like it's wide open. I'm gonna put the pressure on you. I don't really have any insight as to where this would be from, <clears throat> so I'm gonna aim in the middle of the map. Okay. And make you make a, a very specific decision in order to win. So I'm just gonna go for Italy. Or somewhere in Africa. So you got close to Ghana. I don't know, Here, here's the thing is that I was thinking, I just, I'm tasting Ghana. <laughs> tasting Ghana. In a very good way. Unfortunately, you're so close to Ghana. Yeah. I would have to nail it. This could also be Peruvian. Why? I don't know. Everybody clear out. I want to give a good <laughs> spray. I'm going to go this way so that I don't hit your camera, Kiko. Okay. Or you, Kiko. <laughs> <laughs> so nice of you. Whoa! Nice spread, Link. Too low, though. But that's the best fart Could we've Ant ever seen. Could be the answer? All right, guys. It comes down to this. This is Inca Cola, often described as having a bubblegum or vanilla flavor, but actually spiced with lemon verbena, a plant native to the area where this soda is considered a national treasure, Peru. Peru! Peruvian. Peru! I just, I don't know if I'm closer. Well, you're closer, but you're not close enough, I don't believe. Rhett, you had 25. Link, you had 21. Link, you know what? It was a valiant effort, but unfortunately that's just not gonna do it. You gotta have that killer instinct. <laughs> Half of the time. <laughs> That's right. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Kalyani from Mumbai, India, and the monument behind me is the gateway of India. And now, it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. All right, click the top link to watch Link drink raw egg soda in good mythical moments. Mm-hmm, and to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. If there was a college of mythicality, this would be its official shirt. Until then, grab one at mythical.store.